All right. So scientific notation can also be very helpful for showing a certain level of precision that you might not actually get in the absence of uh, using um, scientific notation. So let's consider this badly drawn graduated cylinder. Um, and let's say that we were to put approximately this much water in it. Slightly curved, there's a meniscus there. So if we filled it up to about this point with water, if I'm looking at that, well, I know it's between 100 and 200. So I can say 1, um, but I have to guess one more digit. Yet here, that's not really a tenth of the way between the 100 and the 200. So I'm going to say it's, I'm going to guess that the second digit is a 0 as well. And that is my guess. That's my guess. Now, I have to put the zero in the ones just because we're at that uh, order of magnitude. The trouble here is that that zero is a significant, it's a significant zero, at least according to the measurement that I've made, it should be significant, but it doesn't look any different from the zero in the ones column, which is not supposed to be significant. So if I were to report this measurement, nobody would know that that zero is significant and this one is not. And actually, they would think that my measuring device had only zero and a thousand with nothing else in between. So we can't use this as a measurement. But what we can do is we can use scientific notation to distinguish that one zero is significant and the other one is not. And here's how. Well, this is really 1 times 10 to the second power, except wait, that 1 is significant, this 0 is also significant. And that's my little workaround. If I want one of the zeros to be significant and the other one not to be significant, I can just put 1.0 times 10 to the second. If I had something with more precision, if all the tens were put in, then I could just write in uh, 1.00 times 10 to the second. But that won't work here. We need to have only one of the uh, two zeros be significant, and we can really show that here. So this would be our valid measurement, and this would not.